good day good day beautiful people this is how you add and actually create a capability statement for the SBA it has been quite a process I am not even going to lie to you the SBA and SAM.gov will make you pull each hair out individually if you do not have any patience but for any of you who are getting into government contracting this is how you create and upload your capability statement in the SBA Connect website. So, as you can see here, this is um, a, a list of directions that help you do so. And this is the actual website where you can go to get this list of directions. It's sba one dot at last ian dot net. And you can see the rest of it here. I'll try to connect it um, in the description box also. But this is the actual uh, list of directions to help you and walk you through actually uploading your um, capability statement. Okay. So the first thing you want to do, if you don't already have this, but you already should if you've gotten this far, is you want to go into SBA Connect and you want to log in to that. Now, after you log into your SBA account, then you're going to actually be in the capability statement section and all of that. And uh, this is what it is going to look like once you actually log in. You're going to log in here to uh, the SBA Connect and your DSBS number should show up right here. If it does not, it actually helps you and shows you how to find your UEI number. Now, after you do that, you're going to click on your UEI number there. And you're going to go to the left side of the page to the General tab. And after you click on the General tab, you're going to put in your capabilities narrative, your capabilities statement link, etc. Now, this is the part right here that was kind of tricky for me, so I had to kind of backtrack. For me, what I did to actually create a capabilities link URL is when I created my website on web.com, you have the opportunity to create a second page. Now, the second page on my website is not seen to the public when they're actually just going to the website. The second page actually allowed me to create a URL to a capability statement that I created on there. So I'm not going to go through all of that because I'd have to log into my personal page um, and, um, you know, account here on web.com. But if you have any questions or comments about it, you can uh, just shoot me a message and I can help you and walk you through that. But uh, I'm, I may do another video about web.com and the process, but initially starting up, it is very affordable. The first year cost me less than $20. So it came in handy in two ways. It, I created a website um, with tons of help and assistance. Their customer service is top notch. And it also allowed me um, a place to create a URL to get to my capability statement for the SBA. So uh, pretty much after you do that, you're just going to go down to the bottom. They have a, 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 some tabs at the bottom and it's going to tell you to save it. So when you go in and you try to search for your business, which I suggest you do, you go in and search for it, put it in the search bar, and you want to make sure that all of your information, like in this example, is showing up, and you want to make sure that your URL for your capability statement is actually showing up as well. So, um, yeah, after you do that, it's, it's pretty much a done deal, and um, it's a headache to get to, especially if you're doing this on your own. And um, like I said, the SBA is not very helpful. They give you these very generic answers. If you try to email with questions, if you try to call with questions, um, a lot of the customer service reps have no idea of how to go about it. And they just give you more generic answers. 
So hopefully this helps someone if you are trying to get your capability statement up and going um, to get certified with the SBA for your government contracts. And if you have any questions, like I said, just feel free to go ahead and um, message me here. Now, another little thing is that I found was on HUD.gov. They actually have um, some great information on what you put in your capability statement. So this is the website here. I'm going to actually try to put that link in the description bar as well to help you all out. But if you're trying to figure out what do I even put in a capability statement, this is a very good um, informational list here. And they also have a nice little example at the bottom of someone's capability statement. Now, capability statement, they like it just to be one page and you're just going to touch on your key points. Um, you're going to put your Dunn's number. Well, this, this particular person did anyway. And I, I kind of went by his guide and example as well. But he has his, his Dunn's number, his cage number, the uh, NAICS codes that he's using um, for the SBA and SAM.gov as well. He has his um, contact information down there. He also put the different certifications that he has. And this one, he's uh, veteran certified, so that's great. And um, all of the other information at the top, the name of the business, the capability statement, um, you know the fact that this is what it is you want it to be nice and bold so they can know what they're reading you then you want to put your capabilities your differentiators and past performances or experience uh, I found this example really good mine did not look look exactly like this but it was a really good example that I just used as a guide and you also want to put your business logo in there somewhere as you can see he put his business logo uh, right here so Again, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that this was helpful and you be blessed.